Hey everybody, welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. Today I have this lovely little desk with a single drawer and it's got some damage, some scuffs, some weird fuzzy things on the top and apparently it was used as a dog chew toy but it's got great potential. And actually, I feel like my biggest obstacle this week was the weather. Yes, it is summer here in Texas and it is showing itself in full force. The drawer was a little sticky, but after I waxed the runner, it moved smoothly, so no worries there. And I'm going to start off by cleaning my piece and getting all the dust and grime off of it. Check out these cute little handles. We're definitely going to be keeping them. Not only does it save me having to buy new ones, but they're just perfect for this piece. Like they were made for it. As I mentioned earlier, the Texas heat had me working late at night and early in the morning before it reached temperatures that I would no longer be able to work in. Not just for my own sake, but products and paints do have temperature limits, so make sure you check those before you paint on a hot day. But we're going to be going ahead and stripping the top off of this desk. I worked in small sections because even though it was night, it was still over 80 degrees. So I didn't want the stripper to dry out too quickly before I could get to scraping it off. So I'm working in very small sections and I didn't get everything on the first go, but look at all this goop. Ew. Now that it's daylight and I can definitely see all the patches on top that I missed with the stripper last night, and you're going to see there's quite a few, I'm going to go ahead and give it one more go with the stripper, and then the rest of it I'm just going to grin and bear it and sand it all off. I know I said earlier that this was a dog chew toy, but I'm not 100% sure what made these puncture marks. There's some damage on the bottom side as well, and I don't know, maybe it was a very large dog? Maybe it was something else. But whatever it was, it needs fixed. So I started by sanding off any damage that needed to be, then I began filling it with Bondo. I expected to take two times going over with the Bondo, once to get it good and filled and once to get it shaped and smooth. While the Bondo was drying, I went ahead and tackled that sanding. And 20 minutes later, it finally started to look halfway decent. I really can't help wondering how long it would have taken me if I hadn't have stripped it first. I have no idea, but what time I did spend on it was tiresome and sweaty, so I'm glad I stripped it first. I'm going to be using Junk Monkey paint today in the color Mocha Madness, but unfortunately it would appear that you can no longer buy this color on their website. I was introduced to Junk Monkey paint and got this color when I went to an auction and placed the winning bid on a crate full of random painting supplies. Inside it were a whole bunch of this junk monkey paint and some of them like this one were retired colors. I don't know how old this paint is or when this color was retired, but it still works beautifully. And I'm sorry to know I can't buy more of it because I did enjoy this color. The look I'm going for with this piece is an understated elegance and this beautiful neutral plays into that just perfectly. And would you look at this? I actually taped something off. See, I'm learning from my mistakes. I taped off around the top of the table and then used a razor blade to cut right along the edge of the curvy moldings. 
good thing too, eh? Look how messy I am. Gracious, girl. <laughs> My paint wash is the exact same paint but watered down by one part paint to two parts water so it's quite watery and wipes off very easily which is a good thing because it's easier to start light and then add more than to add too much and have a disaster on your hands. But when doing a paint wash my advice is to you, don't panic, add more water, it'll be fine. I cleaned my hardware up to the point where I was certain that my wax would lay nicely on top of it, and then I got to sealing my piece. I'm using Verithane's polyurethane, which is a water-based sealer, and I'm going to be spraying it on with my air compressor and spray gun setup. I have a list of my favorite tools down in the description if you're interested in any of that. Also, a list of the products that we use today. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and check out the description below. And while you're down there, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way to helping me here on YouTube. My very last step is to add a touch of elegance with this gold decor wax. The color's name is Eternal and it is my go-to for adding gold to pieces. And then she's finished. Let me know down in the comments what you think of our project today. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure today, and until next week, I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Goodbye for now.